Hello everyone, DA here bringing you another Warframe settings video for low end PCs. To be clear, we will only be handling most of the stuff within the game, so there will be no external apps needed or external configurations needed. First thing I want you to know is that we will be working also on sacrificing some features for a clean, smooth and of course, lastly, a beautiful gameplay. When it comes to low end PCs, we have two problems and that is going to be the network and the graphical performance. In terms of network, there are things that can be done outside first to ensure that we actually achieve our goal. Using different methods or websites, you can find out what your ping is. Ping in easy words is basically how fast your internet transmits and receives information, basically between your computer and the servers and back. Low ping means less lag and high ping means a lot of lag. And because we also deal with peer-to-peer -peer system in Warframe, ping is going to be very, very important. A good website that I often use sometimes is going to be meter.net forward slash ping dash net. So this is going to be one of the ways that you can find out your ping. And just like this, you can use your PC command options as well. And you can find out what your ping number is or what the average is. Once you do that, once you find your average, then you go ahead and write it down. Go and start Warframe, then go to your network settings and set your ping to something close to the results that you got. What this does is that it will try to match you with people that have a similar ping, which means if somebody has a higher ping than you, then chances are they will be of a disservice to you. And if you have a higher ping than somebody, you'll be a disservice to them. But if you have around the same range, then you will not notice a big change. Once you do this, you want to start removing features that you don't need. Now, of course, I'm saying that features that you don't need, but it's mostly going to be features that are not too essential. And the first one is going to be blood and gore. Then after that, you want to go into graphic settings and do what I ask you to do right now. Put your resolution around 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. Basically something that is around where your PC is. For some of you, you have a 4K display so you can go with your 4K resolution, but I'm quite sure most of you who are running on low end PCs are 9 out of 10 using a laptop. So that's why I'm talking about 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 or 1366 by 768 or something like that. So that is why I'm suggesting this um, dimensions. Then once you do that, you want to set to your maximum frame rate to 60 or whichever one your computer can handle. Put field of view in the middle, which is going to be somewhere around maybe 45 or around 50 as well. Turn off screen shake because uh, that is also going to affect your graphical fidelity as well because when you have a lot of things moving on the screen other than just you as a character, it can affect your performance. Set effects intensity to around 10 and that will reduce the amount of you know crazy effects that you see on the screen and also reduce the amount of work that your graphics card or your integrated graphics will be doing. What we are doing right now is that we are trying to limit the amount of work being done on that screen. We're trying to cut off the amount of hard work that your PC is doing. Next thing you want to do is you want to turn off runtime tessellation. You want to turn off blur reflections. You want to turn off glare, turn off film grain, or you can keep it on if you like it. Uh, keep resolution scaling around 35 to 50. Particle system quality should be at medium or in most cases, just put it at low. Put GPU particles at low, it is a must because if not, you will receive that crazy hit. Shadow quality should be at medium. Keep texture memory at low. Filtering can be kept around 2X and 4X depending on how uh, your PC is able to handle them. Anti-aliasing is something that you can keep around medium, but if your PC is still struggling, then keep it on somewhere around low. Turn on depth of field because that way you can blur a lot of items that may need a lot of details in the background. Turn off bloom because bloom is going to hit your computer because of that brightness is going to hit your computer and is going to make it slow down. Turn um, off color correction just because, you know, color correction is 
one of those things that I really don't like in Warframe. Turn off weapon trail in effect. Weapon trail in effect is going to require your graphics card to do extra work trying to generate those views and those beautiful colors. So you wanna make sure that you turn those off. And lastly, turn off motion blur. One of the things that I noticed is that blur will make some things smooth, but I also noticed that in Warframe, blur actually uses a lot of memory as well. It's weird, I know, but that is just how things are in Warframe. Now, once all these are done, it should give you this type of looks. Now, it may not be the best looking thing out there because that's not what we're really going for. We're going for you know, being you being able to play it as much as you want without having to deal with a lot of hiccups. And that is what we have right here. So this will resolve all the issues on your end. And when you go to a place like the Plains of Adlon or you go into Fortuna, then your ping is going to be that big factor. And once you are being matched with people around the same ping setting, then you won't have that much problem. The rest is going to be dealing with hardware. Maybe you wanna upgrade your RAM later on or you know you want to upgrade your hard drive later on you know increase the space and all that kind of stuff but other than that this should fix most of your problem i hope this video helps thanks for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one